Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're gonna solve some word problems that involve ratios, and we're gonna use bar models to help us solve them. The first problem is the ratio of white, blue, and yellow marbles in a jar is 4 to 3 to 3. And if there are 63 yellow marbles, how many white ones are there? And how many in total? This is a very easy problem when we draw our model here. And I basically want to have a long bar to represent the total. And in this total, I want to have four parts for the white marbles. So four blocks like that. And uh, these are the white ones. And then three parts for the blue marbles. And then three parts for the yellow ones. There. And then the information that I'm given is that there are 63 yellow marbles. These here are 63. And now I just solve how much is one of those blocks in my model. It would of course be 63 divided by 3, which is 21. So one block is 21, and so therefore now it's easy to find out how many white are there. There would be 4 times 21, which is 84 over here. And how many in total? I'll count how many parts I have. 4 plus 3 plus 3. 10 parts. So 10 times 21, 210 in total. You need to mix concentrate, juice concentrate, for example, and water in a ratio of 1 to 8. One part of concentrate to eight parts of water. If you want three liters diluted juice, in the end you want to have three liters total, then how much water and how much juice concentrate do you need? I'll again draw a long bar to represent all the juice. This is all of the juice, it's three liters, right? And I need to divide it into how many parts? I need to have one part for concentrate and eight parts for water. So that means nine parts in total, right? Try to divide it in three parts, then each one into three. There. And now one of these is for the concentrate, and the rest of it is water. And in total this is three liters. So all I need to do is find how much is one of these blocks. Three liters divided by nine. Okay. And this is basically the division 3 divided by 9, which is the same as one third. It is one third of a liter. This here is one third of a liter. Okay, or it would be 333 milliliters if you prefer. And the rest of it is water, which is then two and two thirds of liters. It was easy, wasn't it? 